kind of the same start with uh, Ricky. Just kind of talk about losing doubles point as a team. You know, you've got to win uh, four singles matches. Yeah. What What do you take onto the court knowing that you've got to be yeah. one of those four? Yeah. The collectively you're going to be four. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. You know, it's I mean, against good teams, it's it can sometimes be near impossible to win four singles matches. So. Um, it, it is difficult, but it makes it a lot easier when you have confidence in your teammates, you know, and for me going out, it was, uh, I, I knew that we were going to get the matches. It was just, I need to get in there, focus on my own match, and if I can pull out mine, then hey, great, but I, I'm definitely having that confidence in your teammates um, give, gives you a little, little more room for error for your own match as well, I think, so. Yeah. When you're looking at the score, uh, I believe Josh was the first one off, so you're tied back up, then you go, and yeah. you get the second point. How important is it to kind of build that early scoreboard pressure of, hey, yeah. we lost a double point, but hey, let's let's get back into it? Yeah, it, it was tough, especially like I finished the first set, and we lost the first set on every single court except mine and Josh's. And at that point, you're looking like, ah, crap, this this might be over soon, you know? Um, and, then, and then Josh pulls out his quick, and... My second set was pretty quick, and I think that's that's uh, it's always crucial to, to get a couple easy points. So that way, um, for your teammates who are are fighting hard, it gives them a little bit of of, of an extra boost, you know, going into the right. second set to, right. to get to that third set uh, for sure. Uh, Ricky kind of talked about it not feeling necessarily like a road match with all the energy that was in the building. Um, just kind of talk about that. Um, whether you fed off of it or you yeah. giving it to some of the other players after your match was done. Yeah, um, I was surprised, honestly, when we got to Louisville. It was loud, that's for sure. We haven't played in an environment like that uh, this year yet. Um, but I personally, I, I really loved it. Um, it helped me, especially, you know, when it, it's it's almost as nice to, to win a big point and the whole crowd shuts up a little bit, you know. Um, so it, it, it was fun, and I think it made it a win – um, all that much better, you know, because because of the environment. And then when Ricky was at last point, there's that that rush of emotion and physically yeah. onto the court. Yeah. Let's kind of talk about getting a win that in that way on the road. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it was fun. I mean, that was our first four, my first four three win, right. and I was able to contribute and throw up a point, so it felt good um, for me. I, I I definitely Ricky was up in the third set pretty early, so I was. I was set on us having it, you know, but it, it's always it's always a relief when you're able to close it out after being up so much. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was fun. There's no other feeling like winning a 4-3, that's for sure. And, and then kind of finally as you're kind of getting into the second month of the dual season, yeah. um, where, are you, where do you see your game right now in terms of what are the things that you feel like you've improved on and where are you still working? Yeah, working? I mean, I think, uh, I think my game is there, the level's there. For me, it's been – just getting used to the environment you know I, first couple matches I definitely was struggling with the noise a little bit and and everything going around and your concern for your teammates and I think the last two weekends especially for me I've been able to uh, just settle in you know and I've really been starting to define my my uh, my game so um, yes yeah, especially the last match it, it if you use the energy the right way it's it's very helpful that's for sure